Okay, here we are back again with more Greedfall, and as you can see, I've changed my party up slightly, just for the fun of it. I put Vasco back in my team, because he hasn't been here in a while. And as usual, Siora's with me, because I'm dealing with a native so much that I feel weird not having Siora in my party. <laughs> so, we have to go talk to Glendan again and ask for his help, because I still need to get to uh, the sanctuary to talk to an old N on Mill Frichtman. Uh. Good day, Glendan. Beort Tirtomat, Karans of Katasach. We learned of his death. Yeah, that sucked. And they washed Tire. Alas, his was not the only tragic loss. Your High King Vinbar is also dead. He was taken by folly. He went away into the mountains after killing Katasach and capturing my cousin. Nothing I could say would allow him to see reason. Are you telling me that you were the one who killed him? Ker Tonsidach? What happened? How could a friend of Katasach do such a horrible thing? I am sorry, but your High King did not leave me the choice. He was about to kill my cousin, and then he attacked me. He was becoming a guardian, a Nadaik. Perhaps it was for that reason he lost possession of his wits. I believe you. You have sufficiently proven your friendship. Mm okay. But something escapes me. Why? Why would Vinbar have done such a thing? I don't know. His offering to Tiafradi does not justify what he did. I don't know. You know that I wished to see Enon Milprichtiman. And he was the only one with the power to allow me to do so. I would not have caused his death voluntarily. Believe me, I am just as sorry as you. Undivorced, Tire. We will celebrate his memory as well as those of all the members of our council that have fallen. Bloodnit, Katasak, and now our High King. These are dark times, but in spite of our mourning, we must elect a new High King. The children of Tiafradi cannot remain without a guide. All the more so in these troubled times. I will notify the Mal of all the clans, so that they may know to travel here. Who has a chance of being elected, in your opinion? Deirdre is powerful, and many clans would follow her. The wisdom of Dunkas will also attract support from many. And there is also Ulan, a clever fox who is very capable of convincing the entire world with his honey dripping... Yeah, milk. I think Ulan is the one I don't Dunkas trust. I must convince them to help me if they are elected. I suppose. I must begin the preparations. You must leave now. Hmm. I've already done that, I think. I must leave. Goodbye. Okay. I don't know. I always liked Dunkas. Let's try doing this at least. Do, 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 do. What brings you here on Almanawi? Mm. I am the bearer of bad news. Vinbar, your high king, is dead. Ande Voshtire. He was a great king, and a very wise Donegad. We haven't seen him in a long time, but his memory shall be honored. Glendan told me that you would probably be among those who would want to take his place. I am not looking for power, but Tiafradi needs peace and balance. 
And I fear the other kings may want war, or be motivated by ambition. The Renaissance I also brought fear that. chaos with them, and our island has suffered. We cannot change the past, and chasing away those who came does not make sense. The wound is there. Refusing to acknowledge it is pointless. But wounds can be healed, and my clan knows how to do this. So if you're worried about my intentions, if I were to become Hoi King, I'll lay them out for you. We must find balance with those from the remote island and live together in harmony. I but for kind this, of like that idea, yes. You must teach the Renaixe humility and to respect the earth. I would like to meet Enon Milfrichtemann in order to find an antidote for the disease that is destroying my people. If you were elected, would you help me in this endeavor? You are a Karantz of our clan, and I have witnessed your wisdom and benevolence. I would be glad to help you meet Enon Milfrichtemann, and I pray that he will help your people. But you should know that my election is far from certain. The spirits are divided, and some are thirsty for revenge. Would there be a way to make sure that you get picked? I do not like the idea of using such a method. But yes, there is a way. The High Kings of old wore a legendary crown, said to be a gift from Enon Mil Frichtemann. The one who became the first guardian is believed to have taken it with him in death. If someone were to wear it in these troubled times, they would definitely be chosen by the others. And where can I hope to find it? In the burial mound of the Hoi Kings near the village of Vignamri. But it is said that the path towards it is strewn with spears, and that its entrance, situated near a large dead tree, is guarded by a Nadai Magamen. It is a deeply holy place, and a guardian will not let anyone enter without a fight. If you do decide to go there, fill your heart with humility and respect. For those who rest there were great men. Now we've earned the trust of one of the pretenders. We just need to find that crown. Are you certain you are willing to influence the fate of all my people to meet an on Milfrichtemann? I understand that you might find this idea unpleasant, but the survival of the whole continent relies on this encounter, Siora. It is my feeling that you do not understand the consequences of such a decision. Everyone on the island will listen to the words of a High King. I hope you and your allies share the same ideas, because once the crown is on their head, we will have to follow their course. You're right. It's a decision that is more important than our quest for an antidote. I must dwell on it. But I think Dunkus is probably the right choice. At least from my way of thinking. Because Durdra is kind of aggressive and kind of wants to just get kick off kick all the colonists off the island, which I'm not totally against as a broad sort of idea. Um but that would lead to uh, a lot of people, including natives, getting killed. Natives are um, often outgunned by the colonists, and um, that would seem to me to lead to unnecessary deaths. And I also feel like Ulan is kind of, well, he's a slippery snake of a guy. <laughs> and um, he uh, is kind of ambitious for his own. He wants uh, he wants power for himself, clearly. Um, and he is more than willing to bend over backwards to the colonists uh, to get uh, personal power. And I don't think he cares as much for the... Um, well-being of everyone in general. Let's go to Durdra anyway and talk to her though because I want to at least hear what she has to say. 
since I can theoretically talk to, I suppose I can talk, to, at least talk to all three of these people and see what they have to say. But I do feel like, like, at first blush, Dunkas feels like the right decision. But let's talk to Deirdre. What do you seek? I am the bearer of bad news. Your High King Vinbar is dead. Dead? And a forced tire. He was a good king in times of peace, but he was plunged into doubt by your arrival. He was no longer at his people's side. Glendan told me that you would be one of those keen to replace him. That's true. If Bladnid was still here, I would have given her my votes and followed her into battle. But since she's no longer with us, I must obtain the title and do what should have been done a long time ago. Drive away the Renaixi and take back our island they want to enslave. Will you drive us away too? We will drive away the Renaixi. You are on all Minawi. You will have to pick a side. I see. If you were to be elected, I would need your help to allow me to meet Enon Mil Frigdeman. Only he can help us cure the Malachor. Why should you be preoccupied with a disease striking those we want to drive away? I have my own reasons. But you should know this is the best way for the Renaixe to leave the island of their own accord. You have helped my people. You are our Carants as well. You can count on me to help you. Once I am the High Queen, I will lead you to the Sanctuary. You seem certain you will obtain the title. Those who covet victory must do everything they can to obtain it. Don't you agree? The old kings wore a legendary crown, mm -hmm. which was lost during the war against the people of the sea. Whoever were to retrieve it would be chosen. And you know where it is? I believe it is located in the tomb of the kings. A holy place not far from the village of Ignamri. I do not know exactly where it is. But it is said that the path leading there is strewn with spears, and that the entrance is marked by a dead tree, and protected by a Nadaig Magaman. Do not worry. I will find this place and retrieve the crown before the election. If I want to be certain of the outcome of this vote, I'd better go and get this crown myself. Anything more? I need to be going. Well, I will am sick. Mm hmm. As expected, she is the one who wants to s to start a war. And again, like I am not against sort of you know forcing the colonists to leave this island. This island belongs to the natives, and the colonists probably don't need to be here uh, at all. Um, but uh, also. I just, I don't want a lot of innocent people to get killed. Uh, a lot of innocent native people. And that is undoubtedly what would happen if it came to war. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's talk to Ulan as well. Ulan is the one who basically just wants to, like, have trade agreements and make, try to, and make a bunch of money for himself. <laughs> What do I owe the pleasure of your visit? I regret to inform you that your High King Vinbar is dead. And divorced Tire. Mm -hmm. He was a great man, although he left us a long time ago. But why have you come to notify me of such sorrowful news? Glendon has informed me that you are most likely among those who will want to take his place. It is true. And I will perhaps be able to obtain it. I understand that you may be worried about my intentions. But rest assured, I seek only to bring peace to our lands. Peace brings life and prosperity. 
by creating an alliance with the people of the continent. The lives of our people will be improved and happier. There is something I would like to ask of you. If you were to be named High King, I would be thankful if you could allow me to meet Enon Mil Fuigdemon. Of course. If I become High King, I would be glad to help you. You are Karantz of Ignamri, after all. If you really want to make sure that I win, you will need to seek the crown of the High Kings. What is that? It may only be a legend, but it is said that High Kings used to wear a very ancient crown. The first guardian would have taken it to the grave. If someone were to wear it today, they would surely be chosen. And where is the first guardian's tomb located? Somewhere not far from here, since he fought his last battle nearby. The entrance to his burial mound is said to be guarded by Anadaig Magaman. The path that leads to it, marked by his spears, and its entrance by a large dead tree. But beware. The Nardike will not let you enter without a fight. Anything else? Nope, that should do it. I must go. Alright, so th theoretically, any of the three people will support me. Uh, will help me do what I gotta do if they get elected. Um, but yeah, I mean, I I really think Dunkus is probably the right the right person for the job. He's not afraid to demand respect for his uh, people and their traditions. Um, but he's also um, not as eager to uh, force his people into a war that they will almost that will almost certainly uh, wipe them out. So. Uh, that's probably what I'm gonna do. Because, yeah, like, the way I see it is... I, I can't help but feel like both of the other options would inevitably just lead to the genocide of the natives. Um... Ulan would probably just force, would probably um, allow forced, a lot of forced assimilation, um, which would effectively end the, the native culture. And uh, Durdra would uh, want to, you know, fight the colonists, and the colonists would then retaliate, and it would be a never-ending vicious cycle of violence. Take a potion if you want to cast more spells. Um, and it would probably just lead to the the natives. Um, yeah, all being all being brutally murdered. Uh, Dunkus at least seems like he might find a way to avoid that fate. Or he would have at least he might have the best shot at avoiding it. I don't know. That's kind of my reasoning. Especially if he has, you know, the support of myself and the merchant congregation. Ward 
Get off this fate! Take a potion if you want to cast more spells. Let's see if you can ward off this fate! Let's see if you can ward off this fate! Close to it, sir. Let's see if you can ward off this fate! seem to be anything else worth grabbing here. Let's go in here. See if we can't find this crown. Okay. Well, Doesn't look like something I can climb, so I think I'm gonna do this. Interesting. What are you doing there? Here lie those who fell facing the first invaders, and you dare enter and scatter their bones. I did not come here with the intention of defiling this place. No. You came looking for a crown of the High King, hoping to choose the one who will lead us. Isn't that what you are looking for as well? Yes, but I am not a Renaixe. I wish to lead my people to victory, and I have come here seeking something that will make it a certainty. And so, do you plan on keeping it for one of those who is too wise or cowardly to come and get it themselves? Or will you give me the crown? Dertre is a great warrior. If she reigns, she will unite all of the clans. And with the blessing of Enon Milfrichtum and the people of your island will be chased away from here. Think long on this. If you leave her the crown, she will become the High Queen. You will not be able to change your mind. Mm hmm I don't think 
I want to give her the crown. If I give you the crown, you shall be named High Queen. What will you do with this power? You have already shown to all that you are not like the other in Ixe. I will not hide from you the truth. Kirfradi does not want to welcome your people. Mm -hmm. They toy with us. Take without returning, kill and pillage. I will unite my people and cast all of the Monesenaig into their ocean wagons. They will go and pillage elsewhere. You want the crown so you can more easily rid yourself of my presence afterwards? If you give it to me, you will become our Karants. And we do not chase away our Karantem. And also, you are on all Manawi. You are bonded to this land, not to theirs, no? I have come here looking for this crown because I need the help of the next High King. I must meet Enon Milfrigdemen to ask him to heal my people. Are you sure that they are your people? Very well. It is a very great honor you ask of me. But you took great risks in order to obtain it. If you give me the crown, I will open the sanctuary to you. You may speak to Enon Milfrigdemen. I swear this to you. Mm, I really hate this. <laughs> because I am, I'm absolutely certain that if I do not give her the crown, I'm going to have to kill her and her entire retinue. And I don't want to. I don't want her to... I don't want to give her the crown. And I also do not want to fight her. <laughs> And it will piss off the natives even more, too, if I kill another one of their clan leaders. Because uh, several of them have already died on my watch. <laughs> Some of them by my hand directly. Killing another one of them would only make things worse. Uh, and, of course, the game will force my hand. But I also don't want her to be the high... Qu like, I don't think she's the best choice. <laughs> like, I think what she's going to do is going to lead her people to... A lot of them to die. And I don't want that on my hands either. Ugh. I hate this. <laughs> I hate this a lot. Oh, man. I, yeah. I, oh. Oh. Oh, I hate it. Oh. Sorry, Deirdre. I believe someone other than you must become the High King. Someone more easily manipulated who will obey the orders of the Renaiks. <sighs> Too bad. You leave me no choice. I know. I have come to take that crown. And I won't leave without it. A bit of poison on my back. Let's go. I will make you regret you have come to our Let's see if you can warn off this fate. Enough. I accept my defeat. Take this crown. I am not worthy to wear it, so it seems. Well, at least I didn't have to kill her. Indeed. So it seems. We will meet again at Dorhead Genador. Until then, Deirdre. Oh, well, that... At least I didn't have to kill her. <laughs> I was really, really expecting to have to kill her. Uh, I'm... I'm, ra I'm quite glad I did not have to kill her. <laughs> I really, really didn't want to do that. <laughs> More of these. Okay, well, that didn't turn out as badly as I expected it to. Um, it was still kind of shitty, but it wasn't as shitty as I thought it was going to be. So that's um, a small blessing, I guess. Also, yeah, like, 
would she have had to kill the guardian too if she'd come here first? Like, or is or am I just special like that? Also, it's kind of cowardly to let somebody do all the work for you. And then expect to beat them? Like, what? Like, she made me do all the work, and then she was like, I'm gonna kick your butt. And it's like, um, no, what? I just killed a guardian, dude. <laughs> what What did you think was gonna happen? Uh, right. Like, I can definitely handle you and a handful of your... your buddies. After killing a guardian. Pretty much single-handedly. But, whatever. Let's... travel. I really feel like we're getting close to the end of the game-ish. Right. I could still theoretically give the crown to Durdra, that's... That's pretty funny. I'm gonna give it to Dunkus, though. I went into the tomb. I found the ancient crown of the High Kings. And so you entered into one of our most sacred places. May this adventure have brought you wisdom and understanding of our people and of your own history. This relic is venerated. The one who wears it will certainly be elected. But you know that, do you not? Yes, I do. I need to be certain that whoever is named will help me meet Enon Mil Frigdeman. Oh, I have pledged my honor to help you and my words are true. But more is being played here than a simple meeting. You know that I work for a tempering of spirits. The healing of wounds of Tifredi. And those of your own continent. But the decision is yours. To the daughter that was lost and refound on our island. Yeah. Take it. I trust you. In your wisdom, may we be guided towards a peaceful future. The council has begun to unite. It is time for me to go. Thank you for choosing me. I will do all in my power to bring you what you desire. You have my promise. Great. All right, cool. So, you've done it. Um. Congratulations, Dunkus. I'm certain that you will be a very wise High King. And now, are you ready to keep your promise and take me to meet with Enon Mil Frigdeman? You are burning with the impatience of you. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> but according to tradition, I must first go to the sanctuary on my own. Without the blessing of Tifradi, my title is nothing but empty, meaningless words. Okay, that's but fair. Fret not. 
How could I be called wise if I went back on the promise I made my friend as soon as I got elected? Meet me at the sanctuary's entrance in two days, and I will open its doors for you. Thank you, Duncus. I'll be there. <sighs> I hope you have some cards or dice on you to pass the time. Unless you'd rather go somewhere else. Let's do this first. Uh, because what I would like to do is go back to my house. And um, talk to see if I see if anybody has anything new to tell me to talk about. Um, I think I might have some more dialogue with Siora after completing her final missions. Karanz. Do you need something? What do you intend to do now? Will you become the Donegad of your clan again? I will most likely do it, but not now. I still have a lot to discover by your side. Um... Yeah, I'm glad. I'm very glad to be able to enjoy your presence a while longer. Thank you for your kindness, Son Almanawi. I am also happy to be with you too. Anything else? Um why are you and your sister so different? If you're talking about physical differences, they're linked to the fact that Iseld is not on Almanawi. When we were little, we were perfectly identical. But our tempers were always different. What kind of child were you? I suppose I was very curious and studious. Mm -hmm. I loved when our father taught me the name of some plants and how they could be used. Then you haven't changed. Isn't it out of the same curiosity that you chose to follow me? At first, perhaps. But the more I know you, the more I find other reasons to stay with you. Anything else? Nope, that should I do must it. Leave you. See you later. We are good friends. Green blood, my friend. Do you need something? Uh I don't think I think I've already I asked all these. I don't know that anybody else will have anything new. Desade, I'm happy to see you. Can I do anything for you? Uh, yeah, I've already. I must leave you. Asked for all that. My tempest. Can I do anything for you? And I already asked I him that. You. And then, uh, 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 Petrus, you're really hard to talk to. My dear child, what can I do for you? Uh, no, I already I asked him that too. Father. Take care, my child. So I think that's everything. I've talked to everybody, and I've got, or I've got I've gotten all that I can out of all of my companions, as far as I can tell. So I think I'll leave it. I'll leave this episode here, and then next time we'll um, do the next quest, um, face to face with a god. Hopefully, next time. <laughs> As always, if you like what you see, please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next episode. Later!